Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion! In this video, we're going to make an unoriginal character for my Divu series. It will be none other than Harris Talpa, one of Penny's dads, who adopted Penny as a baby. From the beginning, I had this fast talking lawyer type in mind. And to change this into an animal character, I thought a stoat would be a great choice. Stoats are small animals who look very much like a weasel. The only difference are, stoats are slightly bigger and have a black tip on their tail. The long neck will be a very interesting feature to give this character. So let's begin and make Harris Tulpa. If you saw the stoat figure in my previous repaint video, then you found a hint. Good luck finding the hints in this video. For this custom, I'm going to use Monster High Boy Porter Geist. Well, only his head. He's getting a totally different hair color, so I cut off his green hair as close to his head as possible. Huh, this buzz cut kind of looks good on him. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but I think this head mold has some Willem Dafoe going on. Which is perfect for an older character. Like I said, I'm only going to use his head. For the rest of his body, I'm going to use a combination of this Obitsu body's joints with this Jackson Jekyll body. Why am I using this body and not Porter's Geist body? Well, I'm going to change the skin tone. And the paint will probably chip off at the joints. And I kind of like it if they're all the same colors and not lime green. As you can see, I'm going to give this body a lot of articulation. Something I want to do on all my characters this year. Anywho, I click off the joints of the Obitsu body. The feet and hands will be replaced with the ones of the Jackson Jekyll body. So they can go to the spare hand box. Yeah, I had to get a bigger hand box. To do the big hat switch roux, I fill my mock with hot water. I dunk the two dolls in it and leave them to soak so the final of the hats get soft. This makes it easier to take off the hats without breaking the neck back. I have great plans in the future for this Jackson Jekyll hat. I think some of you already know which character. Now I can go through the neck with tweezers and take off the remaining hairs. With nail polish remover containing acetone, I take off his factory painted face. After a wash with warm soapy water, I take off his ears with an exacto knife. To hide his delicious lime color, I paint the whole head with an acrylic brown color. Now that the head is drying, let's do some body modifications. Because it's not really a dull motion repaint video without some body mods. In the family tree, I gave Harris the age of 49. That means he's a fully grown character with a lot of animal features. Yeah, I like to give my characters more animal features when they get older. So he'll be getting the bent animal legs. To give him the long neck of a stoat, I also saw off his neck. Be careful not to hit any joints. You don't want any arms to fall off. In the end, I cut off all his original elbow and knee joints. By trimming down the monster high feet joints, I can insert them into the new Ibitsu legs. Yes, I know animals mainly walk on their toes and I kinda gave them double ankles. But it really makes it so much easier for me to animate them if they keep their human feet. So sorry for the purist out there. And now we're gonna take all the pieces and make one new doll. To protect the joints from the epoxy clay and glue, I cover them with a craft foam. He's getting a long neck, but I don't want his arms to stop moving. This will help to protect the joints. I insert wire into the legs and arms to make it easier to attach them to the body. 
To fill in the wire, I use my beloved epoxy clay. I mix part A and B together and fill in the body. At this point, the head is probably dry, so let's also sculpt Harris two mouse-like ears. Wow, finding something different! I mainly sculpt pointy ears until this point. When the clay is dry, it's sanding time! I use my Dremel for the big pieces and continue with the sanding block. Ok, the ears are also dry. But before we take them out, let's trace them with a marker. Now we know where to reroute. For his hair, I thought a deep Celtic red would be nice. Stoats kinda have this brownish red fur tone. To make him a little bit older, I want to give him this strand of white hair. Well, I thought I bought white hair. This hair was called Frozen. Well, I thought about, well, ice, snow. Yeah, I had to know that frozen means, in default, this. Oh well. Let's reroute his red hair. For the white strand of hair, I think Articuno can help us. I don't think she'd mind if I take a small strand of hair. Here we go, exactly what I wanted. To secure the hairs from the inside, I use a contact glue and a Q-tip. After a day of drying, I can give the hair a boil wash. This character is going to be a lawyer, so he's getting the signature combed back slick hair. Oh, hi Perus. For fluff on his tails and ears, I prepared some flock and loose yarn wefts. His tail I made out of wire, which I covered with bandage tape, so the flock will have a better grip. After a paint job, I cover the back of the ears with a fabric glue and dab on the flock. The same for the tail, only I started with a fluffy black tip. Let's continue with his face. Like I already mentioned, Harris is an older character, so he'll be getting more animal features in his face as well. I cut off his original nose and glue it lower on his face. I fill in the rest with epoxy clay. When the clay is dry, I cover it with a small layer of super glue to prevent any cracks when I place back the head on the body. Ok, let's paint the body. This is going to be my first time trying out my new airbrush. So, wish me luck. I start with the primer, and when the layer is dry, I continue with the skin color of choice. It took me about 2 to 3 layers. Not forgetting the bent joints, of course. And here we go, a fresh, airbrushed body and head. Well, we're still missing something. That's right, stoats have this cute white belly and paws. I'm not really a big fan if a color lining breaks if you turn the joints. So I'm just going to paint his chest, belly, feet, hands, upper arms and upper legs. Not forgetting his face. I seal everything in with a few layers of Mr. Super Clear. Ok, before we start to repaint, let's place his head back on his body. It already has modifications, so to be very carefully, I first heat up the vinyl of the head with a blow dryer. This will make it easier to place back the head on the body. Ok, finally face up time! Like always, I start sketching in the face with a watercolor pencil. For more depth in his face, I use soft pastel powders and a brush.
Now that I have a guideline, I fill in the rest of his face with acrylic paints. I think big brown eyes will suit him perfect. And now that I'm shading his eyes with pen pastels, let's answer the question of the day. Did you ever expect your seasoned costumes to become a story or series? No, definitely not. To be honest, I took two random dolls for the sketches for the Christmas special in 2017. Being the Summer Fox and the Autumn Squirrel. But I think I took the story seriously myself when I made the stop motion scene for the Pyrus video. I start making the story bigger with the whole Divus and Lost Sister story arc. Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to this year. Do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comments section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the repaint. To seal in the face up, I spray a final layer of Mr. Super Clear. Harris Talpa has a law firm called Talpa and Talpa, so he'll be needing a suit. Monster High Boy clothes still fits him, so let's reuse the pattern. I took them apart, ironed them flat, and traced them. I made the pattern of the jacket about a half centimeter wider so it'll fit over the blouse. Now we just need the right color of fabric, some push buttons and doll buttons. And two days later and we got a complete outfit. I even made him a second blouse. He still needs some shoes. I think these Monster High slow-mo shoes will work. I just need to scrape off the spooky detail. I don't know much about fashion, so I had to look this up, but you can only wear black or brown shoes on a blue suit. Why? I don't know, I haven't made up the rules. Well, Mr. Talpa will appreciate if he gets his ears and tail back. So I glue them into his body with a two-part epoxy glue. To cover up the marks where his human ears used to be, and to give him some age, I'll be gluing on some grey flock for his sideburns. Like I give all my male animal characters, Harris is also getting two bushy eyebrows. To really get that slick hair, I use my Screaming Man hair gel. Well, it almost feels like glue, but it will definitely keep his hair in place. Now we can dress him. And now he's almost done. Oh no, wait. He's married, so just like Kenneth, he has a ring.
Aww, I knew I would like this character before I even made him, but now that he's actually a doll, I even like him more. I also love that he's slightly smaller than Penny. It really doesn't matter who your parents are, as long they love you and care for you. Like I already mentioned in my channel update video, all my Diffus stop motion scenes will be in separate upload. This makes it easier to follow the story. So definitely watch the next Diffus episode. I would like to thank my lovely Patreons for supporting this channel. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!